Hey guys, okay, so this is Ziki here, hoping that you're all doing very well wherever you are. It's a Saturday. Now, I just want to give you a roundup of what we have been talking about for the past three weeks. We have engaged, we have argued, we have debated, we have discussed, you name it, okay? Everything was aired. Now, we also go to the point where we're talking about, so what is the way forward? What should be done? And also, I did have some people asking me that, Ziki, what do you think about this whole thing that we have been discussing? Please, can you just share with us your own opinions? Well, I don't want to, to I'm going to be very neutral in my analysis. I am not going to take sides, but I am just going to be very, very neutral. I believe that South Africans, they have a genuine reason of concern. I believe that South Africans, they've got a genuine concern. However, I don't uh, really agree to some of the ways that they are airing their grievances, to some of the ways that they are trying to solve their grievances. I don't condone violence. I don't condone discrimination. I don't condone, um, you know, inhuman treatment. I don't condone, you know, you know, looting of people's properties, destroying people's properties, all those kind of stuff. I really don't condone. But I do understand where South Africans are coming from. You know, the influx of illegal or undocumented people in South Africa is a huge problem. And yes, indeed, it affects the locals okay, of that particular country. And in this case, we are talking about South Africa. I also do agree with South Africans when they say uh, foreigners are coming into South Africa and they're undermining, you know, the labor laws of South Africa because there are some labor organizations in South Africa who advocate for better wages, for better working conditions, okay? Now, these private entities or these companies, now, when they employ foreigners, they disregard these labor laws because a foreigner, like someone who's struggling coming from Zimbabwe, is going to agree to work on minimum wages even with no sometimes with very very bad working conditions everything you know undermining the efforts that the local south africans are fighting for their you know work, working rights you know labor laws and everything so i again do understand where south africa is coming from right getting back to um to the issue of again zimbabweans there i also want to say zimbabweans they really know the problem that south africa is is facing they know that is a problem but sometimes they because of situations of where they are coming from situations that drove them away they are finding themselves in this predicament where they have to stay in south africa documented or undocumented so that they can just make ends meet but that also doesn't give them right to commit crime you know to vandalize property like cable theft to you know to commit murder rape, and all those kind of ills in the society when you're a visitor in a country wherever you are you know crime is a no 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 and also respect is also very important because here are the people who are accommodating you who have welcomed you and you also need to behave well okay again when it comes to the issue of solving the Zimbabwean problem the way forward I always say that like everybody else Zimbabweans are the only people who can solve their own problem. How they are going to solve it or how are we going to solve it, it also depends on the Zimbabweans to derive, to know, to decide, to choose how are we going to solve the Zimbabwean problem. So everything again, again goes back into the hands of Zimbabweans. Are Zimbabweans still going to continue to be running away? You know, are we going to still continue running away from country to country, being chased away from South Africa, being chased away from in Zambia, being chased away in UK and everywhere and everywhere, being chased away? Are we going to continue to be running away from the problems or Zimbabweans themselves are going to come together, decide what to do in order to solve the problems that they're facing? So yes, from all the angles, you know, from the South African perspective, the Zimbabwean perspective and everything, I have been following these things together with you, my friends, and all I can say is there is a problem and the problem needs to be solved. However, it has to, it has to be solved. No violence, no stealing, no vandalism of property, no discrimination. This is all I'm saying, okay? Let's find ways to solve this issue because the issue is there and it's huge and we understand so that.